David, I've been following various generations of what was Rotorway and is now Rotorex for decades, all the way back to hanging with BJ Schramm and other crazy people. And just had the time of my life and flown various generations of the aircraft. Can you bring us up to date on where this machine is right now and where the company is? Sure, sure. That's really amazing that you've followed all these years. Well, right now we've updated it. The airframe, well, the airframe's the same, but the skids are straight gear. We have a shaft drive, two gearboxes in the back, and most importantly is the engine. It's now 180 horse turbocharged. Cabin's a little wider and about a couple inches deeper for those tall guys. Is the aircraft still kitted? The aircraft is still kitted. You have to build 51% of it. It's a quick build, so that's an understatement. Yeah. Boom, rotor, you don't know welding. It's just line it up and drill <laughs> and assemble. <laughs> I think in the last uh, year and a half since Rotorex took over, I think we've sold over 65 kits. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. What's the kit price now? It is at 118. And that includes everything, including the engine, everything you need to fly, except for paint and avionics and lights. Brief me on what the latest numbers are for your helicopter uh, performance-wise. Sure. So now with the 180-horse turbocharged engine, it's a completely different beast. The power plant over the decades have always been kind of the Achilles heel. Solo, you're fine, but with two people, it's a challenge. I've actually flown max gross. I'm 200, 260 pound guy, full fuel. We had out of ground effect power. Max gross is 1655 and uh, aircraft weighs usually about a thousand or less. Your useful load is 655, which is 100 pounds of fuel and then remaining you got so much. The cruise speed, 95, still the same. Two mile endurance to exhaustion. We now have a, a governor option, which makes flying much easier and nicer. Extended fuel range tank that doubles your range, a light package, and the general specs are about the same. Now, is this particular machine the only thing you're doing right now? As I understand it, you're branching out. Yes, there's actually several machines we're working on. Um, some are with the military, and uh, but there's one in particular we've been working on. It's an eVTOL, and it's a single-seater. Ultralight, 254 pounds, so it, you actually don't need a license. Highly recommend that you do, but it has eight motors, redundancy built in. You can actually have a motor or two go out and still land under control. Triple computers, they vote, it's not like F-16, it votes uh, one of them out if there's a failure, but we've already got a couple of prototypes running. The owner of Rotor X, Don Shaw, is actually an expert in VTOL, and he goes back decades. So it's nothing new for him, but the electric propulsion is fairly new. But we're making pretty good uh, progress on it. We've already had test flights and some media out there. We got some good things to announce this summer. Hopefully by uh, Oshkosh we'll have something. I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. We sure appreciate you taking the time with Airborne and Aero TV and the Sun of Fun Digital Daily. Please keep us up to date on what you're doing. Calculating carbon monoxide.